what's going on everybody cool 200 here back with another video today is not the NASCAR lounge video I know this is usually the setup for that but that's not what we're here to do today that's not the show we're doing today today I'm here to actually discuss what made me a NASCAR fan why am I the obsessed crazy fan that I am today who buys shirts merchandise over a thousand diecasts, you name it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start here. I'm not gonna try and make this super long, but this is a video that I, you know, kind of wanted to do for a little while now. So here it is. So back in 2002, um, actually, no, that's not really where it starts because that's my birth year. Um, I'd say back in like 2003. When I was just one year old. One year old. Um, really, I was just born as a NASCAR fan. But, you know, when I was really little, I knew absolutely nothing about the sport. I just saw on TV mom and dad were watching a car or cars go around. And they had numbers on them. And they were really fast. And they were really pretty. And I'm like, ooh, cars. <laughs> you know? Because every... I would say every little boy liked cars. You know? It's natural. I mean, nowadays, you know, it's three years old. Ooh, phone. You know, it's sad. But, you know, back in the day, people actually played with toys. People actually cared <laughs> you know what I mean now people are just like ooh phone you know whatever but anyways that's not what I'm here to rant about um so that's really where it kind of started was I I saw on TV there was a car and it was going fast it had cool stuff on it you know and then I saw like an M&M's and I'm like ooh I, I like that and they're like oh is that your favorite driver and I'm like yeah I like M&M's you know all that crap so that's really where it started, you know, M&M's, that was it. That's the end of it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, and then I would say about when I was, I'd say about three, I got my first car. And that, that really set it off. You know, that, that's what got me hooked. That was the hook, getting my first car, you know, and then I was like, ooh, I'm a really big fan of Jimmy Johnson. I rooted for Jimmy all the time. And then in 2008, something changed. I stopped liking Jimmy. Um, now I despise him, even though I still have to agree. He is an amazing driver. He has an awesome personality. He's awesome with the fans. He's definitely the head chef of this sport. You know, Jimmy Johnson is everything. He is the GOAT of today's NASCAR. And that's great. You know, for Jimmy Johnson fans, it's not so great for the past two years. You know, poor Jimmy hasn't won. But, you know, 2008, I started to like Dale Earnhardt Jr. And to this day, he is my all-time favorite driver. I love Dale. I love everything that Dale has ever done for NASCAR, and I love what he does today. You know, I have a whole piece of my shelf, uh, you know, commemorating Dale and his career. So, you know. That's where it got started, um, you know, Dale Jr. I don't even really know why. I liked different drivers at different points. Like one time, you know, I saw McDonald's car, and that was Jamie McMurray at the time. And I'm like, oh my goodness, Jamie McMurray is now my favorite driver, you know? And it was Kyle Busch at one point. Oh, God, that was a horrible point. That was probably the worst point in my life. But Kyle Busch with his M&M's car, I'm like, oh my gosh, he's my favorite. I jumped around favorites a lot. I heard... My grandmother said that she really liked Casey Kane, and she said his name weird. Casey Kane, my my favorite driver. She really liked Jeff Gordon. I really liked Jeff Gordon. So we both really liked Jeff Gordon. But finally, I finally got hooked on the driver, and that was Dale Earnhardt Jr. And he would be my my favorite driver for until 2017. So I was finally hooked on a driver, um, you know. And I think that's really what set it off right there is. When you find something that you really, really like, you kind of stick to it. Or at least I hope you stick to it. And that's what I did. And then finally Dale Jr. hung up his hat. And um, out came Kyle Larson. You know, I, I, 
Kyle Larson was under my radar in 2015, 2014. You know, he won Rookie of the Year in 2014. He was really doing good in 2015, and then 2016 he broke out and won his first race. Kyle Larson now, my favorite driver, and it still is my favorite driver to this day. October something, 2019, whatever. So that's awesome. But it's just those little steps that took to get me to where I am now. A huge NASCAR fan. I haven't been a fan for terribly long. You know, people have been a fan of this sport for 40, 50 years. I have only been a fan for what? 14, 13, 14 years. And I'm really, really getting into this point in my life where I've invested tons of time into researching what NASCAR is. And, you know, just really investing my time uh, to sit down and watch NASCAR and see what it is for today. Because back in 2008, 2009, and 2010, it was just, I want to say wreck, you know? That's how every kid kind of views NASCAR, I think, is they want to sit down and watch a wreck. That's why Talladega and Daytona were my favorite tracks of all time at that time. Because they produced the most wrecks. That's why I didn't want to see Tam drafting go. Because they produced the most wrecks. <laughs> you know, people flipping. People that got me excited as a kid. But finally, you know, getting into my teenage years and now being 17, I finally understand what NASCAR really is. It's not about the wrecks. You know, it's about the drivers, you know, their personality, how they get things done, how the racing is, you know, the actual product that NASCAR is. You know, side-by-side -side racing, the, the really close finishes. That's what NASCAR is. That's, And that's awesome. I love watching that. Like, the Talladega race that we saw not too long ago with the Ryans battling it out to the finish. And it was a photo finish. That's what we like to see. You know, that's the stuff that NASCAR fans love to see. And that's what I have grown to love and watch. I love that. You know, running around single file, you know, around one specific area of the track lap after that's not fun that's not fun for any nascar fan we want to see two wide racing at bristol that's why bristol is now my favorite track because you get to see close side-by-side -side racing you know they're going around this great coliseum you know it's it's fun and exciting you know i finally moved away from oh my gosh let's see a wreck and to this day that's how my grandparents are they love to see wrecks it's just is what it is you know but yeah, I mean, I was basically born as a NASCAR fan. There's no crazy, crazy reason why. I mean, you know, just seeing cars go around in circles and uh, seeing big wrecks. That's what really got me hooked. And then, of course, getting my first NASCAR diecast. Um, that really said it. So I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all found out, you know, maybe why I'm a NASCAR fan and uh, who I am today. But there's a better and exciting and more exciting video coming very soon to the channel. Um, I'm not sure when I'll actually get it done. It hasn't been recorded or anything yet. But I want to talk about why I'm a huge NASCAR diecast collector. I think that's a video that a, pe a lot of people would be very interested in hearing. Um, hell, I'm even very interested in it as well. Because honestly, where am I now, you know? It's crazy. But um, there will be one more video that I'm very... I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. Um, it's a video where I feel like I'll just go off on a rant or something. And I mean that could be good for some viewers. But some of, some of you guys probably don't ever want to hear it. It's not anything NASCAR related at all. Um, I'm sure for the OG fans you may have remembered. I made a song. Oh god. I already mentioned it. And it was a song for this girl that I really liked back in 7th grade. I'm going to remind you I was... 13 maybe at the time I didn't know what the hell I was doing I didn't really care at the time you know as a kid you don't really care what you do you don't care really think about what your actions are or what the consequences may be and I made fun of for this now all the time people ask me why I deleted the song I didn't delete the song it's on private because it's just so it I can't go one second without cringing to death over what I made it's the only video that I personally have deleted from public YouTube. YouTube has since deleted a few more of my videos because of copyright, which is very sad. But, you know, it is what it is. But 
I'm going to make a video on why I wrote the song, what it means, and who it was for. That's all going to finally come out. I'm going to finally explain why I made that abomination of a video. <laughs> so stay tuned for that one. That one will be, uh, beware, there will be a rant for sure on that video because I have a lot to say about this person now. So if you are this person, I would regard you from watching it. Yeah. My life has been messed up since then, so yeah. Anyways, guys, enough of that. I am out of here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and let me know your story on how you became a NASCAR fan, because I would definitely be interested in hearing that. Let me know and uh, down in the comments below, and follow me on all the socials, links in the description below, of course, as always. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and have a good one.